and welcome to my Sunday. I need to go shopping because my boyfriend and I have a walk planned. So I need to get some supplies and I need a few other bits as well. Let's go. 120 for peppers. I'm completely out of veg apart from aubergine and broccoli and potatoes. And I've got some celery as well. 62p for beans. They look all right, don't they? They passed the test. I need garlic as it happens. This is 67 pence for three. Well, it's organic though, so I'm going to go for it. I expect I could have got it cheaper, non-organic. I noticed they got that. Is it Sunfire? I've had this once when it was reduced. 97p. No, I'm going to give that a miss. Adami beans. Never know how to pronounce that. 49. Yeah, going to get some of those. 51p for the collie and broccoli. I'm going to get it because so convenient, isn't it? A quick lunch then. It's a pity I don't need any broccoli. It's like a broccoli fest here. 40p for that, and it's organic. What's that one? Oh, that's going off a bit, that one, I think. Or is it condensation? I'm not sure. I know it's condensation, it's fine. 82p for more broccoli. Asparagus is £1.10, so I'm gonna leave that. Lunch two, 53, yeah. The hummus, 52p. I might get that, because they might be quite good for dipping things in during said picnic. I think I'll leave it there for veg because I like to do my veg shopping little and often if I can because it perishes, doesn't it? Ginger keeps for quite a while though and I do use a lot of it. God, that's a big thing of blueberries. Look, £3.20. Got a multi one there though. 53 pence for those. Mushrooms was on my list. So yeah, I am obviously going to get mushrooms because I'm obsessed. Want some salad to shove in the sandwiches. I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to get IB some ham. This was £2.5. I expect Izzy will have some as well. I'm gonna make another apple pie, so I'm gonna get some short pressed pastry for 125. Don't quite know when I'm gonna make it. Now, look at the price of Lurpak, £4.49, and I need Lurpak. But I've noticed they've got butter pack here. I'm gonna have a quick look and see what the ingredients is compared to the Lurpak. Okay, so it's very, very similar. Butter, rapeseed oil, water, salt. That's the Tesco's cheap one. And the Lurpak original, it's butter, milk, rapeseed oil, water, lactic culture, milk. Oh, there's no more milk and salt. It's the same. I'm gonna get the cheaper one and we'll see how that is. So that's £2.50. Bye bye Lurpak, not today. Let's go with my pie when I eventually make it. £1.9 for some double cream. For £1.20 I'm gonna get squirty as well because Mine ended up at IB's and something tells me there's none left. I'm going to get one of these, £2.85 for our picnic. It can be eaten hot or cold. I think that'll be a nice change. We're going to have sandwiches as well. Isabel wanted pork pies. I just picked those up, but I didn't film it because there was a lady right there. I didn't want to get in her face, but they are 99 pence. For £1.12, I'm going to pick up some of the... Ooh, four cheese tortellini. That sounds fun. I'm going to get that. Me and my daughter love it. Oh, this is £1.60. Ooh, £1.12 or £1.60. Do you know I'm going to splash out? Yes. I'm impulsively picking up a pizza for me and Izzy to have at some point. Oh, that is £3.50. That's quite an extravagance for me, actually. don't normally uh, get a full price one. I wait till they're reduced. One last extravagance for the picnic. £2.20. Some vegetarian cocktail sausages to have on the side. Oh, it's going to be such a feast. Hey, look what they've got. Meatless Maverick classic burger. One of those microwave burgers. I don't think I fancy it. I'm tempted to just try it and see what it's like. Izzy occasionally has the meat versions. I'm gonna get one just to try it. And for one pound, beef burger. Well, it's 120, but I've got a club card, so it's a pound for me. That's why there are two prices on the shelf. All right, I'm gonna go and pay and go home. Some time has passed. The picnic has been assembled and packed, and my boyfriend and I are on the way to the coast. And I was just saying to him, I'm hungry for lunch already. I think we're gonna need to eat when we get there. We're going quite slowly because I've noticed there's a little horse and cart up ahead. People are overtaking it one by one. I've been to Barry for a while. No, me neither. Yeah. Well, I've walked by you. I recognize it. Yeah. One of my vlogs I did, I went for a bit of a long walk and did a lot of filming. Oh, I can see the sea. Oh, it's one of those. In the UK now, they've got a bit of a trend. Oh, this is a lovely park, but you can't see it because there's a wall in the way, but it's very nice. There's a trend for doing crocheted or maybe knitted, maybe both, toppers for post boxes. I've seen some really lovely ones. There's the triangular pond. <laughs> Perhaps we could have our little picnic by the triangular pond, darling. Well, I don't mind. Depends how tricky it is. Yeah, that's true. I didn't bring a warm coat. I really hope I'm not going to regret this. The sea is looking quite grey, actually, isn't it? gets lovely shot of recycling bins. 
it looks kind of choppy but flat and grey. We've got out of the car, I'm just gonna show you what the beach is like, but we're not going on the beach really. I had a ridiculous dream last night actually, a ridiculous dream that I met some YouTuber friends that I've never met in real life because they live in Canada from the This Is Our Retirement channel and I dreamt that they drove in a car with me in it right down a pebbly beach just like this and then got out of the car and then the car just slowly went into the sea. It was a dream, didn't really happen. And in the dream I was thinking, it's a good job that lady's got my wooden flute, otherwise it would have been in the car and got ruined. So, but anyway, it was nonsense. But it's so funny now, because I'm on the same sort of uh, setup. <laughs> I've just getting the picnic out of the car. We're gonna eat imminently. I don't think we will go in Triangle Pond Park because it's a much more scenic and bigger park. So we're gonna go and have our picnic in there. I do quite like walking on rugged terrain because you have to think about every every footstep and it's really intellectually stimulating like compared to just walking on a boring old pavement. There's a public loo by this car park right at the end here. I'm about to go in it. I'm feeling extremely light and um, unencumbered because IB has insisted on carrying the enormous bag with the picnic in and there's a lot in there. So it's a good job we're actually going to break up our picnic into two sittings because we will reduce the weight in the bag. And look, I told you how close we were. It's here. See? Look how much nicer this one is. You get to look at waterfowl. It's a skate park with children on it. And look, I'm very interested in this construction over here. I didn't notice that the last time I came here. Should we go and sit over there by those pillar thingies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, some of the kids are doing very fancy stunts over there on their scooters. This is beautiful. I like the kind of subdued color scheme. <laughs> Various shades of green and gray and a sort of reddy yellowy brick. It's kind of nice. There's like lots of absence of certain colours and I think that, that appeals to my aesthetic at this particular moment. Oh, hello swans. We're picking this one here. We were hoping there might be uh, benches under there. I, don't, I mean, we don't need shade today though, but on a hot sunny day it would be ideal to have benches under there, wouldn't it? We've got a decoy in progress here. Just beyond here, just beyond the shot, there's a family and they're feeding or the birds. That said, they're coming this way too. IB said about sitting on this bench, he said, I don't want to get accosted by swans. What aspect of them exactly is gorgeous? Oh, I don't know. I, but I just love looking at them. I think they're beautiful. What, swans or? Yeah, all of them, and the pigeons and the seagulls and all that. The noisy ones. Hello. They're coming this way. Look at our feast. So this is my sandwich I made, though. So it's cheese, salad and hummus. That one produced a clear hummus, came in handy. Tortilla, we didn't bring the whole thing because it was massive and it's quite heavy. So we're gonna have, you know, alternate bites on that. We've got the corn sausages, IB's on the crisps. I'll save my crisps for later. That tortilla's delicious. I'm gonna get that again. I've decided as of this moment, it's gonna become one of my picnic staples. It's really delicious, very salty. So if you don't like salty, might not be for you, but I thought it wouldn't be a patch on the ones you get, you know, abroad, but no, it's good. I'm particularly enjoying my sandwich particularly because of that salad because I've got like a, a herby leaf one and every bite tastes a little bit different. It's like a journey of taste adventure. Mm. IB's feeling slightly alarmed right now. <laughs> oh, watch out. He's, oh, he's coming closer. I'm standing up and keeping my distance here because we have seen my sandwich. The family have stopped feeding That's now. Long neck, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so yeah. Please don't attack me. Oh, it's coming back. No, 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 please don't. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Ah, oh, the family are back with the bread throwing. Thank goodness. That was delish. Did you show them England? England, is that in yeah, that's England over there. That silhouette on the horizon. It looks kind of blue, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, we're walking along this promenade. We've come to the end of this little stretch now and apparently there's a lookout post. There's a documentary series on the BBC at the moment, isn't there, on the iPlayer. We've been watching a couple of episodes about the lifeguards rescuing people. It's very interesting indeed. Yeah. I really do admire lifeguard people. This is the lifeguard station anyway. There's a defibrillator on the wall there. That's a funny arrangement of little wheels, isn't it? They're all higgledy-piggledy. I'm sure it makes perfect sense though when the boat is going on it. Got a nice little harbour. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, I'm enjoying being out, I am. It's been a little while since I've had a good walk. 
they're paddle boarding over there. There are people in the water having a little dip, some people coming out holding hands, emerging. I am a terrible wimp when it comes to going to cold water. I just, it's not for me. I only like to swim in the sea if it's somewhere warm. We're back in here again. We're following a route on a map actually, and it's just taking us back through this park again. Oh, this is a little bit of something different, isn't it? Big long waterway stepped up in places there's nothing coming down it really at the moment is there but we haven't had a lot of rain got a bit of a bog garden or something here look is it a bog garden when it's all boggy and watery special water plants it's very fragrant actually oh i put my head in then to sniff it and i heard a loud buzzing in one ear <laughs> just come out of the park this is the most extraordinary looking one because it's not entirely knitted or crocheted are the real flowers on the top there I wonder if that's a tribute to the Queen actually we're just passing under a very very wide bridge and we think it must be quite old the way these things jut out that's quite a lot <laughs> it's really irregular it's not it's not flush you know do you know what I mean can't find any good examples now, but oh, there's one. That's a really sticky outy one, that one. <laughs> Look how big it is. It's really, really super, super, super wide. Oh, my bees disappeared. We're going into Romley Park now and passing through here as part of our route. They've got one of those water filler things. It just like does it by automatic thing, you know, it senses its presence and squirts it. I won't waste the water. Toilets here as well. Useful to know. We're coming alongside the tennis courts here, a game in progress on my side here. Oh, look at that old tree stump there, decaying. Proper old fashioned bench, I remember them being like that when I was a kid. We just had a quick stop to look at the map. We think it's this way. We're going up and up, that's a steep road there isn't it? Up and up and up. Rather spectacular dead tree. There seems to be some sort of tree trail in this park with signage. Oh, look at that lovely shock of yellow. Oh, nearly coming out of the park, hoping this bit's not going to be so uphill, but from my memory it is. <laughs> so I did a similar walk a while ago. It's also on my channel somewhere. There's the castle there, look. Just a tiny little one, and if you saw one of my Barry Island walk ones that had that in it, you would have seen it before in my vlogs. Here we are, look, you can go in it. It's only tiny. I think it's amazing that it's just open to the public to go in, really. It kind of makes me feel like it's very vulnerable, but do people attack it? It's not covered in graffiti, is it? Look at this old drainage pipe thing. I wonder what that would have been for. It's too narrow for a chimney. Do you think poo came down here? No, I don't. Portcullis, Portcullis was here, was it? Oh, look at some ancient... Look, somebody's tried to put their initials in and it's nearly all completely weathered away. Looks like I, it's not IB, is it? One of your ancestors. Yeah, There's the other side there, yeah. Oh, look at these things here. What, what do you think those would have been for? They would have been supporting a wooden arch, I would have thought. Oh, yeah. Or possibly a stone arch, but. There's a stone arch there. I don't think it would have been a stone arch, because as you say, there's one right next to it. Yeah. Oh, see, it's What's much more fun coming to UIB. I had to just imagine stuff when I was on my own. It must have been a tiny part of a much larger thing. Another one of those slitty windows, look. You can see into the street with it. <laughs> I love it when really old things like this are completely just slotted in with the modern. I don't know, it's just, it's like you're living alongside your history, which we all are. Ibe's found the notice board. Ibe's reading the thing, he said there would have been a drawbridge and a moat. So there we are. I'm disappointed there's no visuals. I'd have liked to have seen, you know, one of those artist impressions of how it looked at the day and a map to show how big it would have been because this is just what is remaining of it. It's, it's confirmed that in the text. Well, it said it had a courtyard of four towers somewhere. All right, we're going to head on now, but built in the 1200s. There we are. Well, we're going to head up that way. We're in the country park now, just sort of approaching. Whoa, I'm just falling down a little dip there. There's, yeah, I was distracted by that. I thought, is that a train? But I think it's an aeroplane, isn't Jets it? Jet. Oh, from Cardiff Airport. It's about oh. a mile away. Is it a mile away? Yeah. 
I've got a habit of repeating everything he says. Oh, yeah, good point. Good point, Ivy. Yeah, because like when I come to edit it, sometimes he's a bit low in the audio because he's not close to the mic. So I, I just do it for insurance. So I just like repeat it, and then I know it'll it'll you don't be have clear. To include anything after. Hey. You don't have to include anything else. Oh, I think people like to hear a bit of IB, don't they? Audible boyfriend. AB. AB. Yeah. We're by the play area. It's kind of hard to vlog. There's people everywhere. Uh, there's a little map here. IB's just having a map check. Sorry about the rather close crop there. It's a playground here and it's like oh, yeah. wooden play equipment and it's like a sort of adventure playground, but a safe one. A safe, you know, health and safety safe yeah, one. That's it, it's really. full of families and they look like they're having a lovely time. I smell barbecues. There are families barbecuing and things here. It's, it's rather lovely. It's a real hive of activity. Anyway, we're here. Radachiyama, as they say in Welsh. Um, we're going to head down here to the little red line and, oh, golden stairs. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? We're going to go along here. Back to where we have parked the car, wherever that is. I can't quite get my bearings, but I don't know. It's around there somewhere. Oh, that's cute. Nice little bench for little ones. Oh, I love this one. It's a dragonfly. That is so cool. Oh, I feel inspired when I see things like that. It makes me happy. I've been left behind. I'd be his ahead. Wait for me. <laughs> Here it is. We need the Wales Coastal Path. It does look rather exciting in that one, but it's not the way. Look, because Wales Coastal Path, look here in blue and yellow. Pointing that way. Oh, cool. We've got a boardwalk. I love boardwalks. Look, that's where the play area was that we've just come from. And look at this viaduct here. Isn't that magnificent? I love that. IB was just telling me that all this is made from recycled plastic. I thought it didn't quite sound boardwalky because it's not made of wood. I can see the sea. Oh, I love the sea air. So invigorating. Just kind of, I don't know, I'm magnetised to the coast. I was saying to IB this morning, he's saying, where do you want to walk? I said, I don't know, but I just feel magnetised to the coast. And he said, oh, good, so do I. So that's why we came here. We have arrived at the beach. Oh, look at that. We're going to have a little sit down and drink our cans of pop, actually, and have a little rest before we continue. I'm going to sit on this former sewer. <laughs> it doesn't smell at all. It just is fine. But it's quite a good to see, actually. Outlet, former sewer outlet. How romantic. I know. I take you to the top destinations when you come out with me. Oh, you certainly do, yes. Mm, it's still cold from being in the fridge, and we've been out for ages. Um, no, I won't have anything to eat, but thank you. Oops, other brands are available. You are allowed to say brand names on vlogs. Right. Yes, I've been trying to explain this for seven years, six years, six years, I think I've been vlogging. There's a ginormous aeroplane zooming in on it. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> well, I thought we were going to be walking along the cliff, but I think, I mean, we can see clearly, we could just walk along the beach to get back to that car park. Look, so we're just going to do that, to be honest. I think we'll still have loads of energy left by the time we've done that, you know. I don't know, I think it's the <laughs> stones are going to be sapping of energy. Yeah, the stones, yeah, it might be. I mean, it's, you know, one of those ones where you've got to think about every step and then you end up going, whoa, whoa. Actually, no, it's not too bad. We're walking along the beach. We started at the top there, but it was just... It was like an ankle twist with every step. Right, sorry I'm not looking at you, but I'm gonna break my neck or ankle if I do. It's not so bad down here anyway, but yeah, it's literally quite uncomfortable. And um, these shoes have never hurt me ever, but I'm twisting so much that like that bit is literally digging me in the ankle because it's going at such extreme angle. Oh, nice bit of flat sand, yay. Look, this is why British people get excited when we go abroad and see clear sea or nice blue sea. <laughs> we do occasionally get it down in the UK. I saw some in Devon. It was really clear. <laughs> I remember it. Longest Cove, that was. God, that's a long time ago, right? Early on in my vlogging career, if you can call it that. I'm going to put the camera away before I break my neck. Okay, we've done this much and we've come to a cave. I'm not going in it though, it doesn't look very safe to me at all. There's no way I'd go in there. <laughs> this is nice though, we've got a bit of sand to walk on, so giving the ankles a bit of a break. Got a rock jutting out there into the sea. It's quite interesting to see the way the water is rippling over it. Oh, look at that. 
very great, isn't it? Yeah, very fascinating. Wouldn't we go into there? Look at all that, that weight above it. Gosh, amazing stratification. Oh my gosh, there's a couple in one of those cavey things with a big overhanging cliff above them and they got a little fire lit in there. Hopefully they'll be fine. I don't recommend doing that <laughs> in case you're watching and you're thinking about going in one of those caves because cliffs collapse all the time. Ooh, rock pool. We survived the pebble trail, didn't we? We're heading back to the car now. I think we're heading home, are we? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've just had the food bag accessible. I can have a nibble in the car now. The blue one, mm. I've just got in. I'm really sleepy. Do you know what? I think I'm going to have a nap. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you liked it. And if you'd like to watch more videos from this channel, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get a notification every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.